Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. By morning, I suspect all this unpleasantness will be over. But we should spend the night here just to make sure there's nothing else the spirit is looking for. Hmm, you really think that's necessary? All right, Serana. Another night. Well, I think we first we rested for a few hours. Now we have to spend the night here. Seems like I'm fully tangible now. So I hope the dark days of transparency are behind me. It has been two hours of sleep. Wait a minute. What the? The museum, the Dragonborn Gallery, on fire. Brother Ickard. Nothing left but a charred corpse. This, the Black Horse Courier, Evening Star Edition. Word from High Rock has come that Lady Aurelia McNarian was found dead on the 4th of Evening Star following a tragic fire that broke out in the east wing of McNarian Estate. The magistrate of Wayrest has investigated, but the cause of the fire has not been released to the public. Though they say foul play has not been ruled out. Lady Aurelia was the wife of wealthy philanthropist Lord Niles McNarion, who is best known for his work in building and establishing various temples dedicated to the nine divines all across Tamriel. His recent work has taken him to Skyrim, where he has been hard at work overseeing the construction of a new temple to Talos, based in solitude. The news of his dear wife's demise came as quite a shock to him, and in an all ill-fated night of drunken mourning, he either stumbled or threw himself off the cliffs of the building site into the sea far below the Arch of Solitude. His body was unfortunately never found. The project, however, saw itself through to its completion in a few weeks later, and the new temple was dedicated and named Macnarian Hall in their memory. All right. This must be some sort of a joke. Look at my goodness. Stendar, have mercy. What's this? Witches' heads. In the oven. And no sign of Serana. Oh, this it just gets better and better. These doors are blocked off. Oh, what? Oh. I see. I wasn't expecting trouble. Who might you be? All right, 
let me check on something else while I was having my issues with transparency. Yes, we had put the the difficulty got a lot easier because I thought I was going to have to repeat most of my journey to get back to where I was, but here. Yes, slaying those skeletons was way too easy. I'm sure the rest of my favorite, the rest of my adventure will be much more difficult. Hmm. Well, this is certainly a mess. Look at this. So. Who's... Oh, Zephyr, I was gonna say. Oh, don't tell me it's Oriole's bow sitting right here. Whoever's bow that is, I can't interact with it. So, can I just run out of here screaming? hanging from the the balcony to deliver a journal. Interesting. I received news today of my dear Aurelia's death. How can the divines treat me so? Have I not toiled tirelessly to use my fortunes and my skills to glorify their names? Am I deserving of such blatant disregard and malice? I just cannot bear this pain. Even as I write these words, I know that my heart died with you, my dear wife. I will press onward, though, somehow, and finish this building, and dedicate it to you, as it is my most beautiful work, befitting of you, and will be my last. I just had the commission drawn up yesterday for a marble statue to be built in your likeness, and came to agreement with the sculptor, paying the deposit to start the work, and had not the chance to deliver the official agreement and balance owed, but it seems now that it will be a memorial of you rather than a tribute. Oh, how I wanted you to see this place, and to see your statue adorn the entrance all I can hope now is that you'll gaze down upon me from the seat of the divines and smile. I suppose a drink is in order to drown my sorrow, and perhaps the cold air and a walk out back will aid to clear my thoughts. Then I will deliver the commission agreement and payment first thing in the morning. move again and now I oh what? good you're awake are you all right my friend what when I woke up you were gone from the barracks and lying unconscious out here on the floor uh, unconscious what well I don't know if it was terrible but I had a nightmare 
Well, I should say so, and it had a good solid hold on you, to be sure. I suspect it was no mere nightmare, but Magnarian himself. Well, he's very deranged and disturbed and suffered a great loss. The feelings and thoughts of the dead often come to the living as very disturbed. We believe it's only because they lack the means to fully make their wills known. Did you discover anything? Oddly enough, the things I found are very much real. Oh, this is terrible. I had heard that Lord Macnarian had met a rather unfortunate end after his wife passed away. But I didn't know the circumstances until now. And by the look of this journal, he was in great grief right before his death. I must have plummeted to his death from the cliff out back. If you're up to it, I suggest looking around for any clues. I seriously doubt that there will be any out there, as this has all happened decades ago, but you never know. And our work is obviously not finished with the placing of the painting. I saw that there is a way to access the alley between the Blue Palace and the museum on the upper balcony. Here's a ladder I found amongst the clutter that the ghosts scattered about. Just be careful out back. We wouldn't want you to share in Macnarian's fate. No, oh, we wouldn't. Place the ladder to, cal to climb down. Am I going to be able to find this thing? Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Anywhere. Just out of this. Alright, so here. Place ladder. Alright, here we go. help if I knew what I was looking for. To sky... A dragon? Now of all times? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Kidding me. Where'd it go? What? Who's there? It's a dragon somewhere. I doubt seriously that I'll be able to find it up here. Wait. Found something, a commission contract. All right, Burgess Olfstead of Hafengar agrees to sculpt one life-size statue in the likeness of Lady Aurelia Macnarian, using a provided oil painting as reference and hewn from natural marble provided by the patron Niles Macnarian for the sum of 800 septums. The amount of 400 septums has been paid in advance, with the rest payable prior to delivery of the work. So, this has been up here for all this time. All right, so let's see, it said something about me placing a ladder. Can I just go back the way I came? <laughs> Wait. Yes, let's just go. I'm not fighting a dragon up here in this little alcove area. Oh, damn it. Oh, I really think I'm cured of my invisibility. Alright, let's go back inside.
Hmm. I'm still looking for Ariel's bow. I have no idea where it is. You know that dragon should really go away. Alright, is this thing gonna be out here again? Alright, Ickard seems to be back, but I see people running, which isn't good. Ah, finally. Huh. There certainly is an ethereal presence here. Yes. This place certainly can put one on edge all alone at night. I bet it does. I found this outside. Amazing. To think that this small bit of parchment has been wedged between the rocks, dangling from the cliffs out there all this time. Yes, that is amazing. Being ravaged by the winds and the rain and the snow year after year and it Do still persisted. Do go on. Perhaps it was the will of Niles Magnarian that preserved it so we might take action on it. Hmm. Burgess Ulfstead, is it? Ulfstead. Ulfstead. Where have I... Ah, that's right. There's a stonecutter by that name living down by Catla's farm. Or Morgrain, if memory serves. I'd take it to him and see what you can find out about what happened to the statue his great-great-grandfather carved. Very well. What All right, an interesting Savannah. place this building is. A lot of history here. Let's go and find more grain Olfstead. Fan of the sun, but it would be better than this. Well, why don't you have your hood on? Oh, it's more gain. <laughs> Do you know anything about this contract? Contract? What's this? Oh dear, this is my great-great-grandfather's name. He was a sculptor and a stone cutter by trade. Passed down through the family to me as well. So after three generations, are you finally here to make good on this and collect the statue? Wait, you mean the statue is here? Well, yes. It's been gathering dust in our cellar for ages. None of us had the art to sell it since great-great-grandfather apparently didn't feel right about selling it because it was half paid for already. Well, I have the other 4,000 septums. Could I have it brought to the museum? Absolutely. I'll get some hands and we'll cart it on up there by tomorrow. Thank you. Hmm, check back tomorrow. Oh. Will this adventure ever end? I My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? God duty. Well, I'm sure the people of Skyrim and Solitude are much safer because of it. All right, Serana, back to the Dragonborn Gallery. And here's Brother Ickard. I suppose we'll just wait here for 24 hours with Ickard. Okay. Hey, watch what Someone you're doing. there? Uh oh, what's what's happening now? Is it the dragon again? Please, someone do something. Come on, Serana. I I really wait. What? So. Well, my friend, it seems that did the trick. It hasn't exactly removed the spirit per se, but it certainly has appeased him. I found last night that the spirits of both Niles and Aurelia were wandering the halls of the museum, admiring the displays and taking in the splendor of the building Niles worked so hard on. They seem quite content. You may see them around from time to time in the late hours of the night, but I wouldn't expect any further problems. Oh, what a relief. Thank you for your help. Not at all. Just doing the good work of our case so that the spirits of the deceased get the rest they deserve. 
and the rest of us can manage to get a good night's sleep as well. Take care. Hmm. Oh, my... My goodness. Stend, I'll be with you. It looks like this is finally over. All right. Serana, let's get inside and find Oriel's bow.